Did you hear the story about the woman who met a great guy so she decided to take it to the next level? Mm -hmm. She had a four-year-old daughter, so and she introduced them to this guy, and she decided to go back to this guy's house for the first time. Now, that was a rule she never wanted to break because five years before that, she actually met a guy, they got so drunk, they ended up back at his place, and that's how her daughter was produced. And she felt so terrible about the situation that she said to herself she would never go home with a guy again unless she felt like she could trust him. And with this guy, she felt that way. So she was excited and she told him, yeah, it's time for us to, you know, um, go back to your house. And he was like, okay. He came and picked her up. They riding there and smiling at each other. She's smiling at him and holding hands in the car. And when they pull up to his complex, she's like, hmm, this, this looks weird. This looks familiar. So as they get out, they're walking into the buildings and she smells this smell. It's like, like a sauna type of smell. She's like, what is that? I don't know. I smelled this before. And as they walk into the hallway up into his apartment, she's like, what? what's going on here? And they walk inside. She's like, wait, a red couch. She's looking out the window. That's the same view. And she asked him, do you have a roommate? And he's like, no, what are you talking about? I live alone. Come here. So she shakes it off and she gets with him and they enjoy themselves together. And the next morning when she wakes up, she wakes up in a panic because it feels like deja vu. She's like, I feel like I've been here before. So she's freaking out. She asks him to take her home. He takes her home and tells her, you know, call me when you're feeling better. And she goes home and she sits down and she thinks about it. This can't be the same guy. So she's like, wait a minute. So five years ago, I met this guy at this kind of bar, which was a similar type of bar that I met this, this new guy at. But, you know, that other guy, he had longer hair. This guy just has stubble. This guy has a beard, but he could have grown out his beard in, the, in that time. She's like, wait, they have the same name, but, you know, that's a common name. I just thought it was a common name. And she's like, oh, my gosh, that's the same guy, the guy who got me pregnant from that one night stand. She's like, holy smoke, how come he not, didn't recognize me? And she's like, well, you know what? You know, I was really skinny back then. I did gain a lot of weight. I did change my hair. You know, may, maybe he just like me and we was drunk, so maybe we just didn't know. And she's like, I don't know if I should tell him because I have a daughter and that's his daughter now. Maybe he needs to know. And as she's sitting there, she's thinking about it. She's like, I'm going to just tell him. She picks up her phone. And she composes a text, hey, about five years ago, did you go to so-and-so bar and meet a woman there? And, she, and the woman had on this outfit, and she described the way she looked. And he was like, yeah, I, I did go there a lot back then. And she's like, well, that was me. He was like, that was you? And she, she says, yeah, we met before. And he was like, oh, my goodness. And she said, well, that night, remember, it was just a one-night stand, but I actually had a daughter and you just met her. My daughter is your daughter. And he was like, oh. she watched as the bubbles go, um, start coming up on the iPhone and then they'll go away. She watched them go up and go down. Like he was trying to compose a message, but he didn't know what to say. She eventually fell asleep the next morning. She checked the messages and he had not responded at all. She messaged him back and said, Hey, do you want to meet your daughter? No responses. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I don't know what to do. And she thought about making him responsible. She thought about going back by his house. And then she decided, you know what? I've been a single mom all of this time. He was willing to date me as a single mom. But now that he knows it's his daughter, he doesn't want any responsibility. You know what? Maybe this is not a man that I actually want in me and my daughter's life. If he wants to, he can be a father. But if he doesn't, we'll still be okay.